Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new weekend project segment. Uh, as we were talking about, we're going to be doing some short projects while we wait for the weather to uh, cooperate a little bit. And uh, first one we're going to do is wheels. Um, I was recently given a set of uh, alloy wheels to uh, fit my 84 Ford truck from a friend of mine who was actually going to throw them out. Uh, they're pretty tough. We're going to look at them in a second. But uh, they're, uh, uh, they've had a rough life and we're going to see if we can salvage them. They're, they're pretty bad. But I think we can, uh, we can salvage them. I mean, we're going to put a couple of rules on it. I don't want to spend any money that I don't have to. So we're going to do everything we can here in the shop with the tools that we have and uh, only buy what we absolutely have to. And I want to try and bring them back to a nice original condition to go on the Red 84 Ford. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with and how we're going to get there. So here are what the wheels look like. And they are not the nicest. These are after they've been pressure washed, cleaned with mag wheel cleaner and muriatic acid and gone over really hard. Now as we get closer, they're tough. That's all corrosion and pitting. It's all uh, old age, but you can see how the clear coat is shot. Moisture has got underneath it and uh, done a lot of damage. And then on the wheel lips themselves, they're kind of beat up. So we're going to see how much we can do with that. Now, it's going to take a bunch of work, but work's cheap. And uh, see what I mean about uh, corrosion? We're going to get rid of all of that if we can. But let's see what you can do with some work, and then we'll show you how to do it. Here is the one wheel that I've already done. Now it's not finished. This is the first step. But you can see how using just tools around the garage we've gotten rid of a lot of the corrosion. Still got dirt and stuff to take care of but we've really beaten to death the corrosion and brought them back a long ways. If you look at it from that So this is where it started. So now let's take a look at what tools we're going to use to make this all happen. So these are the tools we're going to use to uh, try and rehabilitate the, uh, the wheels we're working on. Let's kind of look at them real quick. Uh, starting on the left, upper left, we've got a uh, flat file, metal file, and a round metal file. Then some small sanding drums that fit the uh, lightweight uh, corded drill. And a whole series of wire wheels, wire discs, and a couple of uh, sanding pads. Uh, flopper sanding wheels. This is all we're going to use and we're going to go through and uh, uh, try and bring these wheels back in the first stage. Now we know from doing the first wheel it took about an hour, an hour and a half to get it to the state it's in now. So let's show you what it looks like while you're doing it. What we're doing is trading time for money. Uh, right now everybody's pretty much trapped in the house uh, we've got tools like this lying around. I haven't bought anything. This was all stuff that I had lying around. And uh, we're going to take a few hours and see if we can wind up with a nice setting, nice set of wheels that would have cost us a bunch of money. Okay, so let's dive in. We're going to start with the electric drill. And this is a lightweight. And we've installed one of the wired wheels from our collection and we're going to start the first rough cleanup. Now you can see here where I've already done some work. We're going to keep that going.
Now you'll notice I've got safety glasses on. So I'm being careful about this. The wheels have already been cleaned so there's not very much dust. should probably have a dust mask on, I just haven't got one handy. I'll grab one as we continue along. Uh, I'm not wearing gloves, but then again my hands are pretty tough after all these years. be a really good idea to do that. I'll probably grab a set here in a minute after I show you the technique. Basically we're letting the wire wheel do the work. So as we put it on, we just put a little bit of weight on it, not a lot, and just let the wheel do the work. Now you can see how the wheel's slowly getting this stuff off. Like I said, it's going to take an hour or so per wheel. And along the way, you're going to want to change from different styles of wheel. I use this one a lot. Smaller places I'm using this one. This one's also really good for getting into the corners. Plus, I use this loose flapping wheel. It's about half worn out. That's just sandpaper on it. And I've got a new one that I'm also using. So I'm just going to give a demo on how that works and then we'll kick on a little farther. First we're going to use the lighter of the two. You can see how that helps as it goes along. But what we really need right now is the coarser one. See how that's starting to bring it back. So we're going to keep this up and keep going along. We'll be switching from different style to different style. I'll give you an example. This one works really well up in these corners. So you can see how by using the different wheels and the different sanding pads, we're getting down to a better finish. So we're going to keep doing that. And again, we'll demonstrate one more. And how we use them to get in the different corners.
Okay, so rather than bore you with the tedious work, you can see what we're doing. You can see how we're using the different ends and the different types of wheels so that we can get all this old garbage off and get back down to the aluminum like we did on the other wheel. So I'm going to give you a break. I expect I'll be probably another hour or so on this. So we'll pop back in as we get farther down. In the meantime, it's a great way to spend the weekend, save some money, and what else are you going to do right now anyway? So, talk to you really soon. Okay, so there's two wheels down, and that took, uh, let's look at the clock. Uh, now we're in 20 minutes, and uh, we're going to about to move on to the next wheel, but we found some excitement. So far we've done everything with the stuff that was laid out, and uh, they're coming up not bad. They still may end up having to be painted, but they're coming up not bad. We're starting to salvage them, finding little things we can fix on them as we go. But now we have a problem. See, over here... Right in here, we have some real serious curb rash. And we gotta do something about that. So, we're gonna pull out a cutting tool, and we're gonna pull out our file, and our round file, and we're gonna see what we can do about this damage, because that's a problem. So, let's start with the cutting tool. Now this is just a little cutting wheel, cutting uh, bit that we picked up a long time ago. Rarely ever use it, but I guess today's the date. Okay. So we've gotten rid of that rough edge basically, we've taken it off. Now we're just going to hit this side and do the same thing. Now you want to be really careful doing this. You're dealing with a wheel, uh, it's what's between you and the road, and you want to be careful. So, let's just take a look at where we're at. There we go. And you can see how that's a lot better now. But now the trick is, we've got to get the rest to lay down so that that edge will polish up again. And that means a little more cut. Now you'll notice we're not taking very much off, we're just getting it back to shape. See the inside of the bead here is okay, it's this outside edge that somebody caught on a curve. So we just want to get that to kind of blend again. You'll notice we've taken hardly any material off, just enough to try and get it smooth. And 
And when we go to get tires mounted, we'll also be getting the tire shop to double check this wheel. See, it's come a lot better. You ain't going to cut your hand on it anymore. There we go. Now you can see we've got it in a nice shape again and we pretty much prettied it up to the point where we continue doing our work. Now the other tool that I brought out of the toolbox is an old chisel. And this is for just trying to get into those edges that you can't get in any other way to get some of the grit and grime and garbage out. So on that note, we're going to pause and we're going to carry on and uh, we'll be back as soon as we get two more wheels done. Thanks a lot. Uh, hi guys. Okay, so we've spent about six hours wire brushing all these cotton picking rims and cleaning them up. Uh, and along the way, we added a couple of things, some sandpaper and some other stuff. I'll show you all the tools we used in a moment. And then we'll look at the wheels and tell you the next steps. So we've burned down most of a day getting the old clear coat off, getting all the garbage and corrosion and nonsense off using our tools and to wind up with bare aluminum wheels so we can see what kind of shape they're in and what the best steps are next. So let's take a quick look at the tools we used. So Again, what we used was the electric drill, our selection of wire wheels um, that came out of the toolbox. We didn't buy anything. Uh, a couple of sanding drums up in the top corner there, a little cutter that I've had around forever for fixing some parts of the rims, a uh, file, round file, a uh, scraper, uh, a little bit of sandpaper that I had lying around, gloves and safety mask. Like I said, that's what I was using when I was doing it. I didn't demo it at the start. I talked about it, but that's what we ended up doing because I want to live too. And we wound up with the wheels cleared off. Now, let's take a look at what the wheels look like. So, here are wheels. Now the last step in getting these things ready was I soaked them down in the last of our wheel cleaner that I had used for the prior cleanup. And uh, nothing special. Again, stuff that uh, I had sitting around and uh, we've chucked it on. We're letting it uh, do its thing right now. The wheels did not turn out as good as I hoped. They're uh, a little more beat than uh, anticipated. Uh, there was more damage on them that uh, we cleaned up, but the big problem was the corrosion had been underneath that clear coat so long that it created a mess in the aluminum. So once uh, this is sat for a little bit, we're going to wash them off and then we'll figure out the next step in this weekend project for making them look good. So till then, uh, we'll leave you alone. I'll get back to doing rash things like uh, washing and cleaning. Uh, you know, all that boring stuff that you have to do. But bear in mind, the wheels were free. All the tools that we have, we used, were here. I haven't bought anything. 
and you can already see the dramatic difference in the wheels. Now, what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to polish them. I don't know. Um, there's an awful lot of flaws in the wheels and damage on the wheels. So we may end up painting them. But either way, we'll figure that out shortly and uh, move on to the next step. Uh, probably let them dry overnight once we've washed them off and uh, start fresh tomorrow with how we're going to deal with the wheels. So, we'll see you on day two. Take care. Okay, so here's our wheels loaded up in the truck. We're going to whistle them into the car wash. Then we're going to bring them home and let them dry for the night. Now, as you can see, it's snowing again. You ever get the impression of getting a little tired of snow? The, uh, we've been getting more than our share this year. Now, what's ironic is the truck we're holding them in, this is the one that they're going to wind up on. It's our 84 Ford. And then we'll have the chrome reverses that we're going to redo. We've got some body work and stuff. But hey, wintry weekend. Might as well get some parts ready for installation for when we get to this one. So, and it's a fun project, which if it costs anything, sure isn't going to cost a lot. So, we'll see you tomorrow after we've done our washing and brought the wheels back, let them dry, and we'll look at how we're going to finish them. Okay, so here's our wheels back from the car wash after getting the mag wheel cleaner off them. And uh, you can see they're way better than they were. But, they're not good enough to polish. Uh, let's take an example as this one. You can see the damage and the staining from the water and grime getting underneath. And uh, I've done a little sanding and I've done a little playing around and they're just not going to polish up. So we're going to have to paint them. So, on that note, we might as well get at it. And the best way to get at it is to show you how we're going to do it. So, just give us a sec to get ready and we'll show you. Okay. So, we've dried the wheels, blown them off with air to make sure they're good and clean. They've already been, uh, as you've seen, wire brushed and scuffed and everything else. So now it's time to put on some primer. And uh, we're going to be using this stuff today. Uh, no sponsors, no sponsors intended. Paint this out of the pocket. We're going to use a gray primer because it'll be brighter coming from the backside. And then we're going to paint aluminum on top of it. So I'll show you on the first one. What you want to do is nice light coats. Yes, this can die. Nothing like being made to look bad. So, shaken up, it's nice and warm, we're at a nice room temperature, and we start by putting on nice light coats. You're better off doing multiple light coats. Follow the directions on the cans. And put on nice light coats. Just like that. And I better go get my mask.
And again, nice light coats. The key to any and all paintings in the preparation, you got to make sure it's clean, you got to make sure it's properly scuffed, and then you do nice light coats like I just showed you. We're going to cut out here, I'm going to finish the other wheels. Once they're dry, we're going to come back and do another nice light coat, and we'll see what it's like from there. See you soon. Morning, Ugh. afternoon, something like that. Anyway, as we're coming towards the end of this weekend project, let's look where we're at. We've got the wheels all cleaned up. We've got a couple coats of primer on it. They're looking really good. We've got no runs. They're nice, they're clean, they're sweet. We've got the shop warm. So now we're gonna start getting some coats of paint onto the wheels. We wanna get at least two coats. The reason being, of course, two coats means rock chips and stuff won't be a problem. And then we'll put a final clear coat over our top. So, number one, when you're doing this, follow the directions on the cans, okay? Um, lots of guys have all kinds of tips and secrets and stuff. I've found over the years that when I try and do things off the grid, getting off the directions, uh, half the time I get really good results, <clears throat> half the time I get terrible results. So follow directions on the can. Number two, always remember with any painting, doesn't matter whether it's bodywork, these wheels, anything you're doing, it's all about the prep. And that's why we spent all those flaming hours with wire wheels and everything else, getting these wheels in good shape, getting the right number of coats of primer on them, and getting them looking good. So for the next step, let's shoot some paint. And we're taking it straight out of the can. It's aluminum wheel finish. Uh, good tough paint that'll work well for the application and should look really good. Now I'm still disappointed we couldn't polish these out. Uh, they were a lot worse than I thought. But you know we're going to end up with a really good finished product that's going to look great on the truck. So let's have it. Okay, let's shoot some paint. Again, just like we did with the primer, nice, smooth, even coats. We take our time, we do a nice job, and they're gonna look fantastic. So light, smooth, and even. We've got enough paint we should be able to get at least two coats on, and in doing so, it's gonna look really good, but, we have to take our time and do it right. Nice, smooth, even coats. Now you'll notice I've got uh, the wheels on stands this time. That's in difference to my old back. But the long and the short it is, Setting it up so it's easy to walk around makes doing the job easier, so it's always a wise plan. When you step back, the finish should look even everywhere around. So be sure it does. And we'll move on to the next wheel, and I'll get my face mask on. So we're going to do the rest of the wheels. We're going to complete a coat, come back in a couple hours, do a second coat, see how it looks, maybe a third. We'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, let's shoot some paint. Again, 
just like we did with the primer. Nice, smooth, even coats. We take our time, we do a nice job, and they're going to look fantastic. So light, smooth, and even. We've got enough paint, we should be able to get at least two coats on. And in doing so, it's going to look really good. But we have to take our time and do it right. Nice, smooth, even coats. Now you'll notice I've got uh, the wheels on stands this time. That's in difference to my old back. But the long and the short it is, setting it up so it's easy to walk around makes doing the job easier. So it's always a wise plan. When you step back, the finish should look even everywhere around. So be sure it does. And we'll move on to the next wheel and I'll get my face mask on. So we're going to do the rest of the wheels. We're going to complete a coat, come back in a couple hours, do a second coat, see how it looks, maybe a third. We'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, here we go after one coat of paint. Now take a look at that. That's a just an amazingly dramatic difference from where we were at when we started yesterday. Nice looking wheels. Clean, neat. They look sharp. Once we find some center caps for them, they're going to look super on the truck. Just take a look. This is hard work. Now, all together when the smoke clears, including paint and everything else, we're only going to spend about 30 bucks. We had all the tools, we put in our own time, and this is only after one coat of paint, by the way. Um, we put in the time, and we've wound up with what's going to be a really good set of wheels for the old truck. Now, once we put the second coat on, and then two coats of clear coat, clear coat's really important because it lets it stand up, keeps it looking pretty. Then uh, we'll be putting them away until uh, we get to the truck project. And that's part of it. When you take a few minutes every so often and get small projects like this one done, then when you're ready to go on the big project, everything's there, ready to snap on. It sure makes it go a lot quicker. So we'll be back in a bit to do another coat of paint. And in the meantime, you guys have a lot of fun, and I'm going to try and stay warm. Okay, and here we go with coat number two. And again, just nice, smooth, easy coats following the directions. And now each coat you put on adds depth and it also adds protection, which to me are two big things. Uh, one, the depth makes it look better and the protection is against rock chips and crap like that seals them up nicely so that they last which we all want hate doing things twice if I don't have to and this is just one way we make sure we can do that now as I said before, I really would have preferred to polish these, but they were a little too tough for that. But that said, these are still turning out to be good looking wheels. Lesson learned. It's uh, not always easy to get what you want, but you can give it a try. And that's what we're doing today.
And again, nice, smooth, easy coats. Not too heavy. Follow the directions on the can. They usually work. Work better than what I tend to try anyway. So, I got two more to do, and uh, we're not going to bore you to tears having you watch me spray paint. So we'll be back when these are dry, and uh, actually I think what I'm going to do, you've seen me do enough spray painting, I'm going to uh, step back, let these dry, do the two coats clear coat, and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Meantime, you guys have a lot of fun. Okay, a few hours later, and there's her wheels. And they look pretty damn good, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, for a whole investment of about 20, 30 bucks, uh, and uh, a weekend's work, we've got a pretty cool looking set of wheels. And notice the dust mask and the safety goggles. That's to remind you to always use them. Uh, always better safe than sorry. And along that vein, let's take a little closer look at them wheels. They've turned out really well. Now they're not polished. I was hoping for polished. That wasn't going to happen. But after doing all that work, all that preparation, and guys, the key on all this stuff is preparation. You get it right for paint, it's going to look good. Okay. Now I've got a set of wheels that as soon as I find some caps, will look awesome on my truck. And I'm really pleased with it. So from junk to jewels in one weekend, you can do it too. Uh, you know, it works on steel wheels, works on aluminum wheels. It, uh, it takes something you may already have or you can get really inexpensive and it turns me into a nice piece. So until the next weekend project, this is Real Builds. And uh, have a great day. Take care.